from the New York studios. Oh, I love that. that I love that. Singer. That's what you what you brought up. Did you like that? Yes. Lead in? <laughs> <laughs> we just so happen to be doing a dildo story, and you, and you arrived. Oh, so like, hopped perfect. In. Hey, Adam, what's going on in New York City? Oh my gosh, what a long day! It's been amazing. I, I got to spend the whole day with the guys from Queen because we announced that we're doing an American tour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that is yeah. so awesome. So does this mean you're officially going to be a member of Queen, or is this for a month? Guesting? Yeah, for a month, man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the front man for one month. It's really exciting. Really exciting. I mean, so as cool. a kid growing up, you probably loved Queen like all of us did. Yeah. Did you ever imagine fronting Queen? No. I mean, it's surreal, and it's uh, it's really an honor. Um, you know, and it all started with auditioning for American Idol with Bohemian Rhapsody, and that kind of rippled into this. It's crazy. Yeah. Now, how did they contact you to do this? Was it their idea? or? Uh, well, I mean, I think it's it's kind of been a long time in the making. You know, after the finale of Idol, they came on and we sang together on the finale. And then they invited me about a year later to go to the European MTV Awards to perform a medley with them. And then after that, we did a European and UK uh, outing. We did about seven shows, eight shows. And then just this early this last year, we did, um, or uh, last fall, we did the iHeartRadio thing in Vegas. And right, yeah. so it's been kind of like a, like an evolution. And, and in Vegas, it just felt so comfy and so yeah. um, natural. It fits. Yeah. It fits so perfect. I mean, Thank it's you. perfect, perfect for this. Yes. Uh, I went, we were at uh, uh, your birthday party a couple weeks ago. What place was that at? That was the Oh, Sassafras. 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 Oh, it's Sassafras. the best. I had my birthday there last year. It yeah. It so, it's, it's like so a New fun. Orleans bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's like oh, Disneyland. It's so like you walk in and you're like, Time it's the heart of mansion. Yeah, it's like yep. all of a sudden you're in like, you know, 1930s New Orleans. I mean, it's crazy in there. Yeah. It's like set decorated. It. There's moss on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't believe it. And that, rocking chairs. I mean, yeah. is that a new place? I can't believe I have yeah, It's only been there like a year, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And, I, and it was good to see you at the birthday. I was a, a little, I, you know, I like to drink on birthday parties. And, you no. know, I was no. in a bit of a whirlwind. There was a lot of people there. <laughs> I'm sorry we couldn't speak more. <laughs> uh, hey, no, I mean you had you had to host the party, and I'm sure you had a few exes there too that you're having to entertain. Oh, <laughs> you're like, yeah, hey, yeah, running away from people. Yeah, maybe, maybe a couple. <laughs> <laughs> what about that, Adam? Let's talk about no, that. No, threw any dildos at me. I was fine. You know. No. <laughs> handled the dildo situation very well by the well, way. Well, you know, when dicks fly at you, you know, sometimes you gotta uh, kick him out of the way, you know? Uh, that's, uh, amen. <laughs> you're preaching to the choir. And life. sometimes you don't. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Dirty pop. Now, uh, Adam, what songs are you looking forward to singing most with Queen? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, like, pick favorites, because they're, one of the things that's so cool about Queen is that they have, like, so many different genres that they explored, which I love. Um, you know, in their early days, they were super theatrical and real camp and then they kind of moved into this funk kind of period which I really love and then in the 80s it was this like kind of big melodic arena rock kind of stuff so they and they have these like classical ballads and I don't know you know ask me which you know, ask me on any given day and I might have a different favorite you know? Yeah. Well, that's so that's so so great about Queen. They have so many amazing, diverse, deep songs. catalog. Yeah. yeah. They're, I mean, just, the songwriting is the songwriting is is nuts. I mean, their songwriting is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now you're uh, you're starting the tour. I think what June nineteenth in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, June nineteenth, United Center. I see right here. Oh, and wrapping up July twentieth in Washington D.C. Now yeah. are you coming to L.A. I have to see them. Yeah, yeah we're gonna play the forum. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, the that forum is, is oh, July 3rd, yeah. right before 4th of July. It's going to be great. Oh, oh works. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Work. And actually, they did. They, <laughs> work. Work. they just redid the forum. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So it's gonna. It's a great venue. I've been the forum since oh. NOM. Yeah. <laughs> since NOM. Well, you got to get back there. There has so. to be Queen of Fireworks. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, they, they were talking about some of the production today. It's going to be major. I mean, I saw some yeah. of the schematics for the set design, and I know they're going to have pyro, and uh, oh I'm just God. trying to Will figure out... Will there be a Freddie Mercury hologram? No. I don't think it's going to no. be a hologram. You know... Uh, <laughs> well, you have a poster just kind of, you know, popped no, up I think what we did, what we did, uh, when we did the, our other tour was we, we did, um, there was definitely, like, an interactive moment. It was really beautiful on the screen, on the big screen, and, and we kind of crossed over vocals, and it was it was really cool, and it felt very... I don't know, really special. Felt really special. Now, are, are you going to do any of your original material just like maybe in the middle of the show or something like that? Like, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, I think the guys are, 
open to that, which freaks me out because I'm like, no, you're queen. We're not doing my music. We're doing queen. You know, it's it's uh, such an honor for me to be there. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's a possibility, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Nice. I think I think I, I don't know. I keep saying like, no, that's not appropriate. Let's do your music. This is. I mean, I'm your guest. You know. Yeah, I know this. I mean, that is. It's got to be weird, I guess. Because you're the front man, but yet you are in someone else's right, band. Right, yeah. But yeah. Adam has yeah. a huge fan base. Yeah. So who's going to be coming to these shows? Sure, it's going to be a lot of Queen fans. It's going to be a lot of, but there's also going to be a lot of fans of just Adam. Oh, and yeah. Stuff, and everybody's going to want to hear everything. The Glamberts, the Glamberts yeah. will be there for sure. Yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> but you know, oh, I, you I know, wait. I've done, I've done two, two tours and of my own stuff, and I, I do dates out, around from time to time. So you know, they get a chance to see me do my stuff. This is, this is a really special collaboration and a special treat. Absolutely. Um, and it's kind of a once in a lifetime thing you know it's Heck yeah and yeah you're making freddie proud for I sure so i am he's such a huge idol for me and you know it's really important for me to be on stage and try to find what his intention was with the song and with the songwriting and, and the vocal delivery but without mimicking because I, I feel like that would be kind of tacky so I, uh, right it's, it's been an interesting exploration of trying to kind of keep the balance there of making it yeah, my own but not straying too far yeah, it's a fine line, my a friend. A fine sure. line. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you watching American Idol? Um, a, l- nah, a little bit. I've been, I've been. <laughs> I went and I did that. I did right. my I love move on to uh, the shade of it all. <laughs> I got He's reason. like, I'm a voice fan. Yeah. No, no, no. He's like, I'm Team Usher all the way. What? <laughs> no, I got, a, I got a good excuse. I mean, I did the, I, I did the mentoring thing. Uh, I did two days, and I got to meet the contestants, and they're really sweet. But I've been in Sweden for the past month. Yeah. What, um, what are you recording there? Yeah, I'm working story? on music. Yeah, writing and recording. With Max Martin? I didn't say anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know what's yeah. happening there. It's sweet, uh, Adam. Dirty Paul's <laughs> yeah, problems. If you know, there's, a lot that's of, happening. No, there's a lot of producers in Sweden, you know. There's yeah. a lot, so yeah. I'm not Let's naming any names. Yeah. We got Christian um, London. We got Bass. Yeah, see, you know, yeah. you know. So, but uh, is that Sharon Studios. That's the best. That's where <laughs> we all started right there. Mm-hmm. Did you guys record um, in Sweden in the beginning? That's where we first started. Yeah, we oh we recorded with Max Martin, uh, 1996. Wow. We spent several months in Stockholm, Sweden. Isn't it a great I'm, city? Oh, it's the best. I love it there. Yeah, the I really love and it. How it's a little beautiful. cold, but. <laughs> yeah, well, how beautiful is everyone there? Everyone's um, just gorgeous. Let's ju- I mean, it's, uh, it's, it could be downright distracting, actually. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable. Oh, it is distracting. <laughs> just walking we down the street, the- you're like, holy yeah, we would sit at the McDonald's, stare, you know, at the window, and just for an hour, just watch everyone walk by. And just I say, mean, remember sitting no, at the McDonald's I, back in 1996, <laughs> and oh, did the honeys walk by? The honeys, all blonde and gorgeous. The uh, I just do that at, at IKEA. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a meatball, and I'll have you. Uh, now we're here they, with Adam Lambert. Aren't they the sweetest uh, too? They're just the sweetest oh, people. Yes, like, uh, the, the, the Swedish the sweet, sweet, sweetest, 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 sweetest. <laughs> The Swedish people. <laughs> now, you're also back on Glee this week doing an amazing cover of Barracuda with Leah wow. Michelle. Oh, thank you. And a cool rendition of The Happening, Demi Lovato. How was all that? I had never heard The Happening before. <laughs> I was like, no, you oh, haven't. What song? But the Barracuda, I, 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 I'm going to take credit. That was my idea. I'm just going to oh, say it's right a brilliant now. idea. I said, Ryan, can we do Barracuda by heart? And he was like, oh, that's a cool idea. So I'm really, really, really excited about that one. Uh, I, I've had so much fun on that show. Um, you know, I didn't know what it was going to be like. I was a little nervous before I did my first episode. But everybody's so cool there, and, and the, the actors are awesome, and I've learned a lot. And I don't know. I want to keep doing some some acting stuff if it's in the cars. It's really fun. It's great. Yeah. I loved you on uh, uh, when I was the uh, Pray Little Liars. Oh, mm. thank you, thank you. That, that was one, a Halloween episode. I was pretty nervous for that, I have to say, because that was the first time I had done that. I was like, oh my gosh. And the, um, uh, uh, Lucy Hale is like this beautiful. She's like she's a little angel. She's so gorgeous and like so natural that I was like, what am I doing here? What am I? <laughs> I have these fangs in. What the heck? But you know, it was, well, good. It was mean, good that it happened. I know you. Uh, I know you want to do a lot of acting here. So, what would your dream role be for acting? Oh, shoot. I don't know. I mean, I think what would be really cool is to do, like, a movie musical, you know? Mm-hmm. That would be oh, fun. Yeah. You know, I think they need to remake Jesus Christ Superstar. Or, yes! Uh, Jared Leto can play Jesus. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Perfect oh, casting. Gosh. And I'll yeah. play Judas with a gay undertone. And I oh, love Jesus. that. Which is Adam, just, do you know what I want to remake so bad? And I want to do it with Katy Perry, and I think you'd be perfect for this, too. What? Ready for this? Yeah. Ready for this? Yeah. 
Xanadu remake. Here we <laughs> yes, go. yes. Right? Get the skates out. Get the cheeks. Right? The music is incredible. I think you could do a tongue in cheek, funny remake of totally. that musical. Totally. Totally. Hilarious. Totally. I agree. And, and they could. If they dared, they could probably do an interesting remake of Rocky Horror if they did it right. Yeah, I mean it's I cold, yeah. so you would have to tread lightly. I mean it's the original is pretty genius, but yeah. if they kind of updated it and made it kind of now edgy, it could be really, really great. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, guys, go see Adam touring with Queen this summer all over North America. Tickets go on sale a week from today on Friday, March 14th through Live Nation. It's the mobile app you can go onto or LiveNation.com and watch Mon Glee over at Fox.com if you missed this episode earlier this week. And for all other news, go to his website AdamLambert.com and follow him on Twitter at Adam Lambert. Adam, thank you so much for Yay, dropping by. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good to talk best. to you. We'll see you when you're Knock back here dead. in Los Angeles. Thank you. Uh, Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.